Imagine a warrior of such honor and valor that even his fiercest enemies respected him. This is the story of Saladin, the Sultan of Egypt and Syria. Born into the Kurdish Ayyubid dynasty, Saladin's life was steeped in the art of war and politics from an early age. His father, a commander, and his uncle, a governor, were instrumental in shaping the young Saladin into a leader of men. His Kurdish heritage, often overlooked, played a crucial role in his rise to power, that shaping his worldview and strategic prowess. As Saladin grew older, his ambition and talent led him to the highest echelons of power. He became the vizier of Fatimid Egypt, and in a swift and strategic power play, he declared himself the Sultan of Egypt and Syria. His rise wasn't just a personal achievement, it marked the ascension of the Ayyubid dynasty, forever changing the landscape of the Middle East. On the brink of becoming a legend, Saladin stood poised to challenge the might of the Crusader states. This is but a glimpse of the fascinating stories you are going to unravel here on Cryptic Mystic Vault. Saladin was not just a king on a throne, he was a commander on the battlefield. And not just any commander, but one whose strategic acumen would leave an indelible mark on the annals of history. His military campaigns were the stuff of legend, a testament to his leadership and martial prowess. Key among these was his unification of Muslim territories. Rising to the challenge, Saladin rallied diverse factions under a single banner, creating a formidable force that could stand against the might of the Crusader states. This was no easy feat, given the fractious nature of the region, but Saladin's charisma, tactical brilliance, and unwavering resolve saw him succeed where others had failed. Beyond uniting his own lands, Saladin also set his sights on reclaiming territories lost to the Crusaders. His strategic battles against these states were marked by a keen understanding of his enemy's weaknesses and a knack for turning the tide of battle in his favor. He was a master of the art of war, employing a mix of diplomacy, subterfuge, and sheer force to achieve his objectives. But it was the capture of Jerusalem in 1187 that truly set Saladin apart. The city, a jewel coveted by many, had long been under the control of the Crusaders. In a decisive battle that would forever shift the balance of power, Saladin's forces besieged the city, overcoming its defenses and wresting it from the clutches of the Crusaders. It was a momentous victory, a testament to Saladin's military genius, and a turning point in the Crusades. With Jerusalem under his control, Saladin had not only shifted the tide of the Crusades, but also sparked the Third Crusade. This significant event in history would lead to further conflicts, negotiations, and eventually a truce that would shape the course of history. But for now, Saladin stood victorious, a conqueror in battle, a symbol of unification, and the master of Jerusalem. In the midst of warfare, Saladin was known for his fairness and chivalry towards his enemies. His reputation for magnanimity resonated far and wide, transcending the boundaries of religion and culture. Among the notable figures he encountered, Richard the Lionheart, the English king, stood out. Despite being adversaries on the battlefield, the two leaders shared a mutual respect, their exchanges marked by a surprising cordiality that was a testament to Saladin's character. But his chivalry wasn't limited to the knights he crossed swords with. Saladin's treatment of Christian pilgrims and prisoners was also marked by an unexpected kindness. Even when the city of Jerusalem fell to his forces, the Sultan of Egypt and Syria offered generous surrender terms, and the city's inhabitants were spared the brutalities often associated with such conquests. This was a man who, even in the heat of battle, maintained a sense of honor and respect, a leader who understood that victory was more than just seizing lands, it was about winning hearts. Even in war, Saladin upheld the virtues of honor and respect, leaving a lasting impression on both friends and foes. Beyond the battlefield, Saladin left a legacy that has endured for centuries. His rule was not only marked by military success, but also by a profound dedication to strengthening the fabric of his empire. A patron of education and the arts, he fostered a golden age of Islamic learning and culture. His court in Cairo was a dazzling center of scholarship, attracting the brightest minds of the age. Saladin's influence is also etched in stone across the lands he ruled. His contributions to Islamic architecture are seen in the majestic fortresses, splendid palaces, and serene mosques that still stand today testament to his vision and his love for his people. 
But Saladin's true legacy lies in the hearts and minds of those who came after him. He is remembered as a unifying Islamic hero, a figure of knightly virtue, a symbol of courage and leadership. His story has inspired countless others, transcending borders and time. It has been told and retold, shaping perceptions and fostering understanding between cultures. Saladin, the Sultan of Egypt and Syria, the conqueror of Jerusalem remains a symbol of courage, leadership, and reconciliation between cultures. Every legend has an end, and for Saladin, it came in 1193. The mighty Sultan, a symbol of strength and unity, passed away, leaving behind an empire that was soon to face its own trials. The unity he had so meticulously built started to unravel, as his empire was fragmented among his relatives. Each sought their own power, their own domain, their own legacy, leading to a weakening of the Muslim unity that had stood resolute against the Crusaders. This division, this fragmentation, was a blow to the strength of the Muslim world. The Crusaders, ever watchful, capitalized on this division, further fueling the fires of the ongoing Crusades. Yet, even amidst these challenges, the memory of Saladin's rule, his efforts, and his victories remained. His name was not forgotten by his people, nor by his foes. His legacy was not simply tied to his life, but also in the stories that lived on after his death. The unity he had fostered, the chivalry he had exhibited, and the courage he had shown continue to resonate in the hearts and minds of many. Even in death, Saladin's legacy lived on, his name echoing through the annals of history as a beacon of unity and chivalry.